Imagine a $25,000 car that generates $550 every month while parked in your garage. Elon Musk's 2026 Model 2 isn't just cheap. It's designed to earn money through Tesla's RoboTaxi network. Here's the reality. Your car sits unused 95% of the day. At $23.33 per hour for ride hailing, just six hours weekly equals over $550 monthly. Waymo's already hitting 1 million rides per month. Tesla's building this into their app. No third-party platforms. One tap, and your Model 2 works night shifts. Is this the end of car payments forever? Let's dive right in. That $550 figure comes straight from ride-hailing economics. Current U.S. drivers average $23.33 per hour before platform cuts. Run your Model 2 just six hours weekly, two Tuesday and Thursday evenings, and you hit $140 per week. That's $560 monthly before expenses. Now for the costs everyone asks about. The IRS rates business mileage at 70 cents per mile for 2025, covering depreciation, maintenance, insurance, and energy. At typical city speeds of 15 miles per hour, six hours equals 90 miles weekly. Using the IRS rate, that's $63 in operating costs, leaving you with $77 profit per week, or $308 monthly net. But here's what changes the game. Turo hosts keep 65 to 90% of rates depending on their protection plan. Get around bundles insurance and starts around $5 hourly. When Tesla integrates ride hailing directly into their app, which they've confirmed is coming, you eliminate the 25 to 30% platform fee Uber charges. Suddenly, that $308 jumps closer to the full $550, because Tesla's vertical integration cuts out the middleman. This matters because your car already sits unused 95% of the time, according to U.S. Department of Energy data. You commute, it parks for eight hours. You sleep, it sits all night. That's 22.8 hours daily of wasted capacity. Waymo's hitting 1 million rides monthly across three cities, proving commercial robo-taxi demand is real and scaling. Tesla's building the same system, but with millions of owner-operated vehicles instead of a small corporate fleet. Tesla's targeting $25,000 for base Model 2, but the actual cost to you is radically different. If your car generates $550 monthly, that's $6,600 annually. Over five years, the car produces $33,000 in gross income. Finance $25,000 at 6%. APR and your monthly payment is roughly $483. The car earns $550. Your cash flow positive by $67 monthly while building equity. This isn't theoretical. Tesla's designing Model 2 as an income appliance with wheels. The base configuration minimizes upfront cost, then you unlock premium features only when they generate return. FSD supervised costs $99 monthly, but you only activate it during commercial operation. That subscription pays for itself in the first two rides at $23.33 hourly. The smartphone comparison is exact. Apple didn't revolutionize phones with the touchscreen. It was the App Store turning hardware into a platform that improves over time. Tesla's doing the same. Over-the-air updates mean your parked Model 2 gains features overnight. Teslascope has tracked hundreds of thousands of software pushes across different versions, with improvements in routing, battery management, and charging optimization rolling out continuously. Smart charging alone boosts earnings. Current Teslas schedule charging during cheap off-peak hours automatically. 
Model 2 will precondition the battery before supercharger stops, cutting charge time by 15 plus minutes per session. At $23.33 hourly, that's $6 saved per charge. Four weekly sessions add $100 monthly just from efficiency. Nearly 20% more income from the same driving hours. Independent surveys show EVs slash maintenance costs by 40 to 50% versus comparable gas cars. No oil changes, no transmission work, no exhaust repairs. Regenerative braking means brake pads last 100,000 plus miles. For commercial operation where downtime kills income, this reliability is everything. Energy costs tell the same story. EVS run four to six cents per mile. Gas cars cost 10 to 13 cents per mile. At 1,000 monthly miles, standard for part-time ride hailing, you save 50 to $70 on fuel alone. Scale that annually. 600 to $840 in fuel savings, plus 500 to $800 in maintenance savings. That's 1,100 to 1,640 extra profit before you factor in any ride hailing income. Battery longevity seals the deal. Modern lithium chemistry handles thousands of charge cycles. A 50 kilowatt hour pack delivering 250 miles per charge and lasting 2,000 cycles gives you 500,000 miles of useful life. Industry research has mapped pathways to million-mile cells. Your Model 2 could outlast three traditional vehicles while generating income the entire time. Home charging removes another friction point. A 7.7 kilowatt level 2 charger fills the 50 kilowatt hour pack from 10 to 80 percent in about four to five hours overnight. Plug in at midnight, wake up to 200 plus miles of range, and the session costs around $4 in electricity. That covers several days of personal commuting or a full commercial shift without touching a gas station. The vehicle to load feature adds unexpected value. That 50 kilowatt hour battery supplies one kilowatt continuously for 50 hours or two kilowatts for 24 plus hours. Gig workers get a mobile office, laptop, hotspot, mini fridge, and lighting all day without grid power. Food delivery drivers keep hot slash cold bags running between stops. Mobile detailers skip the generator. Your Model 2 becomes a Swiss army knife that happens to drive. Tesla's entire ownership cycle lives in one app, and this is where commercial operation becomes seamless. Order the car, track delivery, schedule service, monitor charging, manage subscriptions, and toggle robo-taxi availability, all from your phone. No dealership visits, no service queues, no phone calls. Cloud profiles launched in Tesla's 2022.24 software update mean any vehicle recognizes you instantly. Seat position, climate settings, navigation favorites, driver assists, everything syncs automatically. For Model 2 owners switching between personal and commercial use, this means your family borrows the car during the day. It runs robo-taxi shifts at night, and everything resets without manual adjustment. Premium connectivity runs $9.99 monthly, or $99 annually for satellite maps, live traffic, and streaming. Turn it on during commercial operation for better routing. Disable it during slow periods to cut costs. Acceleration, boost on Model Y costs a one-time $2,000 and improves zero to 60 times significantly. Model 2 could offer similar performance unlocks on demand. Activate it for peak season. Disable it when demand drops. You're paying for capability only when it delivers measurable value. This isn't guaranteed income and regulations are the first hurdle. Autonomous ride-hailing rules vary wildly. California's moving fast, Texas is opening up. 
but many states haven't written policies yet. Your Model 2 might sit idle for years in markets where robo-taxes aren't approved. Platform fees cut into that $550 figure. If Tesla charges 20 to 25% like competitors, your net drops to $410 to $440 monthly. Commercial insurance costs more than personal coverage. High mileage wear accelerates depreciation. That million mile battery assumes optimal conditions. Extreme heat or cold degrades chemistry faster than moderate climates. Market saturation is the bigger question. If Tesla manufactures 500,000 units in year one and 30% run commercially part-time, that's 150,000 new robo-taxes. Uber's entire U.S. fleet is roughly 1.5 million active drivers. Tesla could deploy 10% of that capacity immediately, cratering ride prices. Early adopters win big, late entrants fight for scraps. But here's why Tesla might crack it. They control the full stack. Battery production, software, charging network, service infrastructure, and soon the ride-hailing platform. Waymo partners with Jaguar for vehicles. Uber owns no cars. Tesla manufactures millions annually and slots Model 2 into existing production lines with zero new partnerships. The supercharger network has 50,000 plus connectors globally. Every other EV maker is negotiating access or building from scratch. Model 2 owners never face range anxiety during commercial shifts because fast charging is everywhere. Software updates push remotely. Bugs get fixed overnight across the entire fleet while traditional automakers schedule recalls. The demand question is actually elastic. Waymo's one million monthly rides came from creating new demand, not just stealing Uber's share. Lower prices expand the market. People take more trips, replace car ownership in urban cores, choose rides over public transit. Early Model 2 owners might actually see growing income as the network effect kicks in and total rides multiply. Would you run a Model 2 commercially? Drop I'm in if you're ready for night shifts or too risky if you're waiting to see how regulations shake out. This is exactly why Tesla's targeting 2026, because the entire automotive industry is still thinking about cars as products you buy and depreciate. Model 2 is the first vehicle designed from the ground up as a cash generating asset. When your car works while you sleep, the fundamental economics of transportation flip. You're not paying for mobility anymore. Mobility is paying you. What this means for the broader autonomous revolution is staggering. We're watching the birth of a distributed robo-taxi network that doesn't require massive corporate fleets or billion-dollar infrastructure investments. Tesla's essentially crowdsourcing autonomous transportation by turning every owner into a micro-entrepreneur. If even 20% of Model 2 buyers opt in, that's hundreds of thousands of robo taxis deployed faster than any competitor could match. And this is just the beginning. Tesla's planning Model 2 variants for commercial delivery, ride-sharing optimization, and fleet operation. By 2027 to 2028, we could see specialized configurations that maximize earning potential for specific use cases. The platform is modular by design. Same battery, same software, different bodies for different revenue streams. The real question isn't whether Model 2 works as a robo-taxi. It's whether traditional automakers can respond before Tesla captures the entire entry-level EV market and locks customers into their earning ecosystem. Once you're making $500 plus monthly from your car, why would you ever switch brands? How do you think legacy automakers will respond when Model 2 launches? Can they match Tesla's vertical integration? Or is this game already over? Drop your take below. This is Tech Revolution.
where we break down the innovations reshaping transportation and energy. If you want more analysis on autonomous tech and EV economics, hit subscribe. The Model 2 story is unfolding fast, and you'll want to be here when the first deliveries start. The future of car ownership isn't about driving anymore. It's about deciding when your car drives itself.